Well, you can bet the farm low country audiences are in for a great time now that the new and improved music farm has opened its doors and started welcoming some impressive musical acts. We're happy to be joined by Charles Carmody, executive director of the music farm and Charleston Music Hall. It's great to see you. Great to see you. Great Thanks to have you back. back. Thank you. So this is a very happy time. A new spring has arrived in yes. the low country. Spring has sprung. It's spring fin has sprung. Finally. And I would say it's been a long two years yes. for this to happen, but Absolutely. actually these plans have been in place for a very long time, Absolutely. longer than that. Yeah, I mean, the Music Farm shut down in 2020, as we all did, we're under the new ownership. and. Uh, you know, COVID hit us all pretty hard, but last summer we actually signed the lease to take over uh, operations of the music farm. So we've been working on it since about July. And congratulations on that. And Thank thanks you. to the building's owner, Jerry yes, Shear, yeah. because otherwise, what would it have become? I mean, who knows? Who, uh, uh, an Urban Outfitters? Right, yeah. I, mean, you know, I, I don't know. But. Some incarnation that is sacrilegious <laughs> to music here Indeed. in the Low Country, right? Yeah. Um, well, you've already had some great musical acts, Charlton Singleton and Friends, yep. Edwin McCain. Yep. Tell us about some of the others. Yeah, it's been it's been a great, we've been open for three weeks now. We're yeah. doing, we've done Susto and Southwood Observation, so yeah. some great local stuff. Um, we're starting to get more national national acts in, yeah. and uh, you know we're slated to do 150 plus events, uh, music acts a year. So we're we're excited. So the capacity actually went down, though. Why we why did. did you decide to do that? Uh, too many times going in that room and being miserable, <laughs> smashed into another human, <laughs> and you're sweating and you can't get a drink, yeah. and it was just miserable. So yeah. we, we wanted to make it more comfortable for the patrons. The big thing was we replaced the entire HVAC system. So it's chilly in there now, which is huge. <laughs> we replaced all the sound and lights because the sound, we wanted to get the sound uh, dialed in. Yeah. And then, yeah, which wanted to be a more comfortable experience for, for patrons. Yeah, we actually have showers for the talent. We do, we do. Yep, we green put, rooms, yep, everything. We put a laundry in for the artists too, new green room. We completely redid the bathrooms. It was like a, a horror scene in there. Um, <laughs> we did sound and lights. We kind of reconfigured the layout to pull the sound booth back so it's way more open now. Yeah. Uh, we, we redid the bar. It's it's a cool it's a cool room and Royal Americans doing food so you can order a full meal while you're there and their nice. delicious food is served hot so that's nice um, I was gonna say you're offering great drinks yep. delicious food yep. which has actually been touted thus far good, so good and we actually we re, we reopened that side patio so there's actually like picnic tables out yeah. there and you can go outside and eat and hang out it, it's really nice and I want to hear about some of the acts that are coming up so you've got it kind of runs a gamut over yes. the next course of the next several weeks here um, but what are some of the just enhancements to the actual music listening experience, would you say? Yeah, we we well, we replaced the entire sound and light system, which is nice. So it's it's going to sound a lot better, which is great. Uh, and also, we've just upgraded all of the gear on stage so that the artist experience will be better. And that's and that's going to pay off. I mean, we are focusing a lot on diversity and trying. I mean, that room because it's GA, you can do. We have hip hop one night, followed by country, followed by comedy, followed by dance, followed by burlesque, wow. drag. I mean, all kinds of stuff. So Matt Mason, June third. Yep. We've got hip hop with. We got NL, NLE Choppa. NLE Choppa. Which makes May me feel 15th. very old because I have no idea who this is <laughs> and he sold out immediately and I had like my friend's kids calling me like, I got it, he's like 15. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, that's hilarious. I finally made it. The 15 year olds think we're cool. Yeah, we're gonna, gonna have to go to fun. a special school, I think, <laughs> you know. Uh, all right, uh, burlesque shows at yep. the Hush Hush Review. Yep. Beth Stelling is a comedian. She's going to be there June 9th. So people go to the website, check out the calendar, yeah. and music lock in those tickets. Yeah, musicfarm.com, and you can see see everything coming up. Wonderful. And, uh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're yeah. excited to, to be running both rooms. That that block has changed so much. I mean, we have Deco, you have Share House and Bodega. I mean, there's all this action yeah. going on. It's really cool to see that area kind of reinvigorated yeah. and people coming out. And you're there at the helm. You're yeah. doing a great job. Great. Thank Thanks you. so much, Charles. Good to see you. Good to see you. We're back after this.